Jeremy Ellis here, maker of Roxetta.com. Today we have a video of the technique our high school rugby team used to take on a much larger pack during their line-out play. Our head coach, G. Van Dollywall, knew that the other team liked to do a driving mall for all line-outs when on attack. He found a video of how Italy defended against England's line-out driving mall. This video ends with Italy getting a penalty kick, but it relied on England making a mistake. I took this idea and changed it slightly so that we get a penalty kick and advantage every time. First our forwards retreat. After the non-mall has moved one meter to end the line out, two of our forwards attempt to wrap the ball carrier from the side and are obstructed. While that happens, the hook comes around the side and goes for the ball. Since no mall was formed, there is no offside line. The backs can also move forward in support of the hook. Even if the hook is unsuccessful in getting the ball, this should end up as a penalty kick for our team as the non-mall has obstructed our players. Everything depends on the ref understanding what you're trying to do. We found it best to ask the ref to clarify mall laws if you don't engage during a lineout. Your remaining forwards must be prepared to stop the advance because any contact at the start of the lineout makes the mall valid and your team is now offside with fewer players to stop the mall. We had to be really careful that we did the play correctly. Refs looked for every possible mistake.